friends. Spring is the perfect time to plant a garden. So I thought we would talk about plants and more specifically about seeds this week to see how plants grow from seeds. There are so many different kinds of seeds in the world. Most of the seeds we know are used in gardens to grow fruits, vegetables, grains, herbs, and flowers. They come in many sizes, colors, shapes, and textures. Some are so, so, so tiny, like chia seeds. Other are bigger, like lima beans. Lima beans are actually seeds. I think they're about as big as my thumb. That's a big, very big seed. Let's look first at how a plant grows from a seed. The life cycle of a plant. The first step in the life cycle of a plant is the seed needs to be planted in the soil. The seed can be planted in a pot inside or in the ground outside. A plant needs three things to grow, water, soil, and sunlight. Once the seed is planted in the soil and watered, it will take about one to two weeks before it starts to grow. This is called the germination stage. Once the seed germinates, it will start to sprout and root appear. The root help the plant get food and water from the soil. In the next few weeks, the seed will begin to push through the soil. It is now seedling. It is still very tiny during this stage and the root will anchor it in the soil and keep it from blowing away. As the seedling continues to grow, it will begin to get leaves and the stem will grow longer and longer. The stem helps the plant stand upright. The stem also delivers water from the roots through tiny tubes. The leaves soak up the light and air to make food for the plant. This process is called photosynthesis. A bud will begin to appear on the plant and it will turn into a flower. Depending on the type of seed planted, the flower may turn into either a fruit or a vegetable or stay a flower. Seeds are located in the center of the flower. Once the plant stops growing, it will drop seeds onto the ground. Some seeds are spread by the wind or by animals. These seeds will begin to grow in the soil and the life cycle of the plant will repeat. Today, I would like us to start an experiment where we'll have a chance to observe how the seed becomes the plant through the process called germination. We will need some seeds. And you don't need to go to the store. You can go inside your pantry and see what you find. Last time I checked my pantry, I found rice, corn, coffee beans, lentils, black beans, red beans, uh, chia seeds, almonds. I have a lot of seeds in my pantry and I'm sure you do too. So maybe you can go with an adult and try to find a suitable seed. For our experiment today, I chose lentils. But if you had black beans or red beans or white beans, they would work great too. You will also need a Ziploc bag and a paper towel that you can get just a little wet. This is what we're going to do next. So I have my lentils ready, my damp paper towel and my Ziploc bag. I'm going to put some lentils on my paper towel. I'm going to fold my paper towel. And next, I'm going to place it inside my Ziploc. There, I placed it in my Ziploc bag just like this. Next, I need to find a window where I can tape my plastic bag onto. Prefer a 
definitely a window that would get a lot of sun. That would be great. Let me try to find a spot. There. I think I found a good spot there. There is not a lot of sun today, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. And now every day I will be watching what is happening to my seeds. So I just put my lentils on the windowsill and I'll see what happens with them. I hope they get to sprout. I did start an experiment last week and I wanted to share with you what had happened. I had a bag with many different kinds of seeds and I wanted to show you my little sprouts. I had placed chia seeds and lentils in the same bag. And I can see how they sprouted from the lentil. You can see the stems shooting from the seed and there's already little leaves being formed. And actually I've noticed too that there's the roots are going through the paper towel. I don't know if you can really see them really well, but they are there, little roots. You can see them there better. So the seed germinated and we have roots, a stem, even some leaves. I think those seedlings are ready to be put into the soil. I'm curious to see how they will keep growing. So keep watching every day and see if you can spot the beginning of the germination process. You'll start seeing the stem shooting out and you'll start seeing the roots growing. It may take one or two days to start seeing something, but if you go back to the same spot every day at the same time, and you check on your seed, you'll see how it's becoming a plant. Maybe you can send us some pictures. Have fun!